right, said Fred. Both of us together, one each end, and steady as we go. <coughs> Tried to shift it, couldn't even lift it. We was getting nowhere, and so we had a cup of tea. And right, said Fred, give a shout for Charlie. Up comes Charlie from the floor below. After straining, even and complaining, we was getting nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea, and Charlie had to think, and he thought we ought to take off all the handles. And the things what held the candles, but it did no good. Well, I never thought it would. All right, said Fred, have to take the feet off to get them feet off. Wouldn't take a mo. Took its feet off, even took the seat off. Should have got us somewhere, but no. So Fred said, let's have another cup of tea, and we said, right on. All right, said Fred, have to take the door off, need more space to shift the so and so. Had bad twinges, taking off the inches, and it got us nowhere, and so we had a cup of tea. And right, said Fred, have to take the wall down, that there wall is gonna have to go. Took the wall down, even with it all down, we was getting nowhere. And so we had a cup of tea, and Charlie had a think, and he said, Look, Fred, I got a sort of feeling. If we remove the ceiling with a rope or two, we could drop the blood through. All right, said Fred, climbing up a ladder with his crowbar, gave a mighty blow. Was he in trouble? Half a ton of rubble landed on the top of his dome. So Charlie and me had another cup of tea, and then we went home. I said to Charlie, "We'll just have to leave it standing on the landing. That's all." You see, the trouble with Freddy's is he's, he's too hasty. Now you never get nowhere if you're too hasty. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>